I'm Jonathan Ortmans, and I'm with Global Entrepreneurship Week. Global Entrepreneurship Week is challenging to understand in some respects because it's 35,000 events happening at the same time in 125 different countries. Global Entrepreneurship Week offers you the opportunity to come and test your aptitude. Join a networking event. Come and meet a mentor. Come and experience a boot camp. Come and experience some other element of the startup community in your city, in your town, and learn about whether or not at some point in your life you may have the interest and the skill to be able to join a startup. And I think this has been effective in allowing people to feel that they're not only driving more of their fellow citizens to consider the path of entrepreneurship in their own countries, but they're learning and participating with people from other nations. It's really in the hearts and the minds of the individuals in each of these countries. There's a way that now we think entrepreneurs might be the force for change in their countries for things beyond just economic change that they can actually make the world a better place. The field of entrepreneurship is no longer something of narrow commercial significance. It's something of more cultural consequence. It's something that represents the possibility of human endeavor for the benefit of all. The globalization of startup communities actually gives the world a much better chance at solving some of the intractable challenges of the decades past. So in a sense, we see more citizens trying their hand at helping the world innovate its way out of its challenges. The world needs more entrepreneurs. It's a question of inspiring more people to recognize that it's more important to the future of their societies than they previously recognized. Global Entrepreneurship Week is an idea bigger than all of the communities that make it up and it represents something that we can all aspire to, which is to be part of one global community of people ferreting out better ways of doing things and improving the lives of our citizens. Hello. Just after lunch. All right, let's, so what is the Global Entrepreneurship Week in general and what is the Global Entrepreneurship Week in Spain? You've just seen the short cartoon and I'll give you a few figures. So basically, the Global Entrepreneurship Week will take place from the 16th to the Swiss 22nd of November 2015. Since we started seven years ago, more than 150 countries are enlisted. It's uh, almost UN or FIFA. More than Half a million of activities have been run and more than 10 million people participated. So basically, those are the figures on a global scale. What are the figures and what are we doing in Spain? What is the objective of the Global Entrepreneurship Week? First, celebrate the entrepreneurs. Second, put entrepreneurship in the center of attention of our society, which is not that easy, and empower entrepreneurs. Last year in Spain, we had more than 150 activities and more than 50 partners. So I won't spend the whole 10 minutes talking, you, talking about the Entrepreneurship Week. I just want to show you how you can get more information on the website. And I will focus on something else. Since the four years from now started, I heard a lot of people saying, a lot, lot of sentences, and I heard three lies. Three lies that I can't stand anymore. The first one is this one, and I've heard it probably 10 times since Monday. 
So banks do not assume their role, they do not give loans or they don't finance entrepreneurs. You know what? They never did. Banks did not finance the great discoveries of the 15th century. People did. Banks did not finance the industrial revolution of the 19th century. People did. Banks did not finance at the corner of the century the dot-com revolution. People did. And you know what? They are not financing those startups that you see over there. People are. So in Europe, we, stu we should stop blaming the banks. We should understand one thing and one big issue. And this big issue is this one. We don't support entrepreneurs. We say we support them, but we don't. If you take the US, same kind of population, same kind of territory, we invest five times less of our private money in entrepreneurs. That's the truth, that's the fact. So we can lose our time complaining about the banks, or we can start investing in startups, and we can use crowdfunding, we can use our time to support them. That will make a change. And this is one of the points that is very important for the Global Entrepreneurship Week. Second lie, entrepreneurship is for young male geeks, people that know how to code on a computer. Well, yeah, a little bit, but not just that. If you look at the EU, EU report in 2013, do you know what is the age or the average age of a first-time entrepreneur in Europe? 39, 39 years old. And in average, those people already worked more than eight, eight years for another company. 80% are married, 70% already have kids. This is the face of the entrepreneurs in Europe. So we do have 20 years, 22 years old geeks that know how to cut, but we have a whole difference. So let me show you faces of entrepreneurs that have been meeting those last few weeks. You have one here, you should see him, it's Ricard. He's a bit of a geek, but not totally. And uh, you can see we have different types. We have Juan Villarmir, the guy is 84 years old, created his first company when he was 47. He's an entrepreneur. You have my wife over there on the top corner. She's 38, she's terrible with the computer, but she's an entrepreneur. So. Let's not just focus on one type of entrepreneur and understand that the society is bigger than just one specific criteria, one specific character of entrepreneurs. If you take all those guys together, they created more than 10,000 jobs, jobs those last 10 years. Third lie, and probably the biggest of all, entrepreneurial failure is a dead end in Europe. The society in Europe won't accept somebody that fails in launching a startup. And we hear that same thing, well, maybe in UK, but then in Spain it's terrible. Well, I'll tell you one thing. It's tough to fail anywhere. It's tough to fail in Silicon Valley. It's tough to fail in Shanghai. And it's tough to fail here in Barcelona. But there is two things we should take. First. What do you learn from it? What is the learning you have and how will you change it? And then you should, and I think I should, and it takes years and years. Who says? Who says that entrepreneurial failure is a dead end in Europe? Am I saying it? No. Is Ricard saying it? I don't think so. Are you saying it? I don't think so. So who cares if my grandmother or my uncle and they have no idea about entrepreneurship, they believe that. What is important is us. What is important is what we give to the society and how we can change those sentences. So next time you hear those people, next time you hear those sentences again, please fight back. Don't let people repeat like parrots those three lies. All right? And you maybe feel compassion for them. Because what they don't do, what they're Basically, their fear of failure prevent them to just even try. So in the words of Theodore Roosevelt, it is hard to fail, but it is worse never to have tried to succeed. 
We need to make sure that every European knows that. Now, getting back to the global entrepreneurship, I feel better now. I've said what I had to say. Uh, getting back to the global entrepreneurship, we are building a very strong advisory board in Spain. Uh, here you can see some very important people uh, of the entrepreneurial ecosystem. I, had, I, I saw one or two, but I don't know where they are. Uh, and there is one that you didn't see yet, and he's sitting here, it's Ricard. Now, the reason why Ricard is here, but is basically for a lot of reasons that he will explain, but I, I, would, I believe that the big one is this one. That's me in Menorca, three months ago. Well, no, six months ago, on a Menorquin, which is a little boat that they have here. So, he'll tell you more. Thank you very much. So, thank you. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yeah. So, thank you, Mathieu, Mathieu for giving me this opportunity to talk uh, about this crazy project. It's, it's a nice picture. Right? Menorca is a perfect place to spend some, some time there. So let me talk about who am I and what's, what's, what's my personal experience. So um, I'm here uh, because I'm part of a company in San, based in San Francisco in Silicon Valley. It's called Unoodle. Uh, we are a startup company. We raise money. So we are kind of successful, a little company. So we are 20, 20 guys working on the startup ecosystem. And my personal story was that I'm originally from here, from Barcelona. Uh, I was super happy to move to San Francisco, to the Valley. I learned a lot. I meet awesome people. Uh, but I realized that the daily work that everyone has here, it's super hard. So uh, I don't know how many emails you're receiving every day, but I I'm sure that more than 100, <laughs> sometimes more than 500, right? So it's, it's super hard. So we decide after launch a new product in Unural in our company, uh, I decide personally to take a vacation, to take a four-week vacation. If some of you know a four-week vacation for a US company is not normal, right? I don't know how many people here in the room has more than 10 days vacation uh, in a year. Uh, I had it, I had it, so I'm, I'm quite, uh, I'm quite uh, honored about it. So I decided to move uh, for a while to take vacation in, in my ferry place in this island. It's 30 minutes away from here uh, for two reasons. The first reason was to uh, take vacation. So I rent a house in front of the sea, so super cool, so no internet connection in my home. Uh, I'm kind of geeky, so I was kind of stressed. But, but uh, the main goal for that is that I need a place to focus to focus in our new business model uh, that you're taking place in our company. So I moved there for uh, four weeks. I had an awesome experience in front of the sea, so super cool, chilling with some friends, some people. But I realized that uh, there are great people that I had no idea who are they, uh, uh, giving me some feedback in a bit, with a beer in my hand, uh, in, a, in a mood completely uh, strange mood, so uh, completely uh, in a vacation mood. So I realized that I, I had a lot of contacts, uh, new people, so meeting some, some new friends, that they give me a lot of uh, inputs. Inputs not just for personal inputs, if not for the company inputs. And every night I was uh, connecting through Skype to my co-founders in, uh, in San Francisco, uh, giving my advice. Say, hey guys, I found an awesome people here giving me some advice. And then, uh, thanks to these tips uh, from the people that I found randomly in the island, uh, we came back to, you know, uh, to San Francisco and re we raised a little run of $1 million from Tony Shi from Zappos. So it was kind of cool, right? Because I, I resent an email to everyone saying, hey guys, thank you for your advice. And I'm getting the money from a, from, a, from a Vegas fan. So it was awesome experience. Then when I came back, uh, everyone on the island say, hey, why we are not doing this for other companies? And that's my project. Uh, we are not, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put my uh, hoodie, because now I'm talking about Menorca Millennials 100%. Uh, as you can see, uh, there are a bunch of crew uh, walking around uh, with uh, this t-shirt talking about this project. So we are not, uh, we are a bunch of crazy guys uh, from all over the world uh, in love with uh, this island. 
And as you can see here, you can find some uh, recognized brands as Berkeley, as the Global Entrepreneurship Week for sure, as Blue Run Ventures, as uh, Blue Run, they're the first investors at PayPal, Waze, and some others. They had 20 exits. Uh, EO, Cairo Society, Gerezo Forum, Unoodle, our company in Divor, Erai Soto, and, and, and Sengrid. So we are not a bunch of crazy guys. We are uh, really cool people on it. And here are some recognized face, uh, faces. You can see here Matthias as well. We have some faces, uh, for example, who's going to be with us uh, in the alley. It's going to be Jerry Engel, the founder of uh, Entrepreneurship Center at Berkeley. So John Malloy, uh, Jose Piquet, so Diane Eisner, Elias Campos, Sam Friend, some other really cool, really cool people. So what we are building that is, as you can read here, is a focus program, is what I did. So a focus program for 20 days in an island uh, just for second time entrepreneurs. That's really important because our venture capitals that we are behind this program, most of them I'm coming from San Francisco, from the Valley, they're all investing in second time entrepreneurs. What it means is that people who already built a company uh, was successful or, or, or they failed in, a, in the first company, but need uh, some experimented people. We are looking for uh, more than 100 second time entrepreneurs with this uh, to-do list. So the first is second time. The second one is, uh, has a technical background. Uh, live abroad at least for six months and having an experience uh, in other country. Uh, has a solution that has a potential to impact a billion people. With our friends at Singularity University, uh, they put this, this uh, point because we understand that the world the world is big, but so a country is not enough for a startup company. See, so we need to find a solution of a, a, a huge problem of the humanity. Uh, sustainable minded and, of course, living the motto work hard and play hard because we are millennials. We already have uh, 110 companies applying, second time entrepreneurs from all over the world, as you can see here. Uh, we, got, we have some from, well, from a lot of countries but 50% of them are covering from US. So I don't know why, but could be the mentality of the US people, but we have an awesome mentality here as well in Europe. And finally, that's the place. I don't know how many people from here been before to Menorca. So raise your, your hands. Wow, oh my God, <laughs> that's a lot of people. Wow, awesome. So you can realize uh, that this is an awesome place just to relax. But we are, what we are building here in this island is a temporary ecosystem because we are sure that the Silicon Valley of the 21st center, century is not going to happen only in California. So that's, that's, a thing, that's a thing that we are, with our investors and our uh, partners, we are talking about it. Because a lot of people from the Valley are going there for a while, spending one year, two years, five years, and then come back. or uh, decide to move uh, to the world. There is a new uh, way to live uh, called nomads. So the nomad, uh, it's, a new, uh, it's a new mentality of entrepreneurs that are going around uh, the world working from the best places. That's why we are uh, doing this uh, retreat, just for awesome people, great entrepreneurs, spending 20 days with these uh, people. And now we can, we can see a video. Oh, before that, we need to put the video in. They are the new generation that will change the world. Young talent that view work as part of life. Their goal is to find an opportunity to learn new skills and make new friends while working to solve big human challenges. Their main purpose is to make the world a better place.
having to worry about cooking, or how to worry about paying bills, which is focusing day and night on the product you're building and the problem you're solving. I think the point is, it's an experiment. We'll see how it goes. But of all of the experiments that are taking place all around the world, this is one that I see has a tremendous amount of potential to yield great uh, products and be a very accelerated jumping off point for these companies. Minerva Millionaires is already very well known on the venture capital industry. Therefore, I'm absolutely sure that the startups participating on the program will have a huge visibility. Yeah, we started back in Australia with three people in a garage and then IPO'd on the ASX. 20 second time entrepreneurs from around the world come to Menorca. We have top investors in love with Menorca and in love with the project. They will bring the smart money. This quarantine experiment is only for people who already build something impressive enough to make a positive impact on society. I was so surprised to find out that Menorca reminded me of Palo Alto, a magical place that somehow helps you focus. In the spirit of Bill Gates' famous Think Weeks, this is 20 days where you can just lower the noise and immerse yourself in unbelievable innovation and creativity. The issue is not starting, the issue is scaling. And we will build an ecosystem in Menorca during 20 days isolated that will help you do that successfully. I've been working in creativity for the past 20 years and I have to say there's only one secret, ambition and fresh air. <laughs> Who wanna join us? How many people wanna join us? <laughs> now it's time for a Q&A. Um, if you have any question about Global Entrepreneurship Week uh, worldwide or in Spain on, uh, or, or Menorca Millennials, that's, that's the time. That's our awesome team that we uh, do a big applause for them because they are working super hard to make it possible. So, so thank you guys. And now it's time for Q&A. Do you have any questions? So you can raise your hand. There's no questions. That's oh, really common in Spain. I may have in a San question Francisco. for you. Oh my god, OK. <laughs> so what is the, big, the two biggest difference you see between the Valley and uh, Menorca? <laughs> wow. Or Barcelona? Uh, OK. So. So Silicon Valley, uh, it's an awesome place, honestly. Uh, I'm traveling a lot between here and there. And I realized that the talent is going there. But there are a lot of opportunities in San Francisco. So a lot of investors, a lot of people, a lot of uh, programmers, a lot of uh, interesting guys. But uh, I realized that in Silicon Valley, there is a place to be for a while. But then a lot of people are going there, and then it's moving back to other, because Silicon Valley is not a place. Silicon Valley, Silicon Valley is a mentality. That's the, that's the main point. And I have another question for you, Matias. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shoot. So what we can do from Spain to uh, not being, not pretending to be the next Silicon Valley, because this is not our goal, what can we do for our people, the local companies and international companies, to do a better country? Well, I think we have, it's, I will say something that maybe is not going to be very politically correct, but um, it's easy to start a company in Spain. It's easy. We have talents, quite competitive in terms of price. I mean, every year you have hundreds of thousands of young people going after, out of university and there is no jobs. So finding talents and people that want to work it's easy. The problem is the growth. The problem is that we don't have developed enough, let's say, VC industry and did not develop enough kind of this ambition to conquer the world. So starting is easy, scaling is a lot more difficult. And uh, we need to fight that because then our talents, they just leave. They go to Silicon Valley, they go to Tel Aviv, they go to London, where you can find financing and where you can find pool of talents. And that's a big issue. So we need to make sure that more of the attraction, we have the retention power to keep our talents. It's like we can bring talents here. They want to come. We need to retain them here. And this is the challenge, the next challenge for Spain, for Barcelona, and I think 
that if we keep 50% of those people in Menorca, we'll be part of, the, of that change. That's awesome. So for, from, from our point of view in, in our company, Unural, from San Francisco, we decide to open an office in, in, in Europe. And we were looking for to establish an office in London, uh, Berlin, or Barcelona. And we opened an office in Barcelona because it's cheaper than the others. It's really well connected. And uh, it's really pretty well connected with, with not just with Europe, because it has a, a, a great uh, ecosystem here. And we have awesome places like Menorca in that case. And by the way, there is no better place than Europe to do global business. Vern Arnish, which is the creator of Entrepreneurs Organization that you saw here, that is supporting the Global Entrepreneurship Week and Menorca Millennials. He moved six years ago from the US to Barcelona. Why? Because you can work with Asia in the morning, you can work with the US in the afternoon, you are in the center of the world. So we should take advantage of that. Think we're done? I think so. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you, guys.